Well, Pedro, do you ever, ever like ask the matchmakers, man, maybe something a little easier? Maybe we could slide down the division a little bit. Maybe, maybe it doesn't have to be the top guys every time. Yeah, right? It's, it is pretty crazy. That's what I have been talking all the interviews. You know, they have been asking the same question. Oh, your last six fights, it was five former champions, four fights of the night. So, um, yeah, when I think I'm going to able to rest a little bit, they just give me another huge test. Uh, seven months, I think, since the last fight, I guess. Talk to me what the, what the focus been during the time away. If, uh, you know, like I said, it's had some setbacks, but against the, the very best level of competition. So what's the focus been during the time? Yeah, definitely. The focus is still the same. You know, my, my main goal is still to be the best fighter that I can be, you know, always trying to prove myself and my fights speak to itself. And, yeah, when I'm not here fighting, I'm, you know, in the gym, you know, work my butt off, helping, helping training partners that have a fight coming up. So, you know, take the focus out of me a little bit and try to, to help somebody else. So once I get a fight and, it's, you know, it's all about me, it's about the strategy and the mindset. For Sean, you know, the story kind of seems to be this is his first test, you know, a real top-level talent. Um, what do you see? I mean, do you feel like from what you've seen, he is, you know, worthy of being in the top, or do you still feel like maybe there's some hype around him that still needs to get tested? No, I believe he's legit. You know, I people ask me the same question before, and my answer remains the same. I think he's legit, you know. He, he won a lot of the fights, and, you know, he's tall, long, fights both stands, and has a lot of skills. And, yeah, I'm gonna, definitely going to be, like, a great test for him. And myself, I think I can't stop him within three rounds for sure. Your, your reputation of, you know, fighting the best and putting on great fights is, is well earned at this point. So, I mean, is it victory here? Like, is it, does it feel like an important night? Like, I got to win? Or do you feel comfortable with kind of where you are right now? I'm comfortable, you know. I am comfortable. It is what it is. You know, I cannot go back and cry about it for the loss that I had, or even the loss that was very close that I thought and many people thought I won. So this is in the past. Um, I know what type of person and fighter I am. So definitely things that I don't go my way, I, doesn't, I, I don't identify myself with, uh, let's say, bad results and things like that. I'm always working myself to be the best person that I can be and also to be the best athlete that I can be. Last thing for me, you say no, no stranger to, to fight of the night. I mean, it, what kind of fight do you think we see? Is it going to be that type of fight, you think? Or I hope so. I hope so. Um, that's what I'm here for. You know, it's a war time. And definitely, you know, it's going to push his pace and, and see what he's capable to do. Pedro over here, center. How's it going? What up, James? Yeah, how you doing? Um, I'm just wondering, you know, the only fight that O'Malley has had where he's lost was against Chito Vera. There's two sort of school of thoughts on that fight, whether, you know, people say he got injured and other people said, no, it was Chito who was the one who actually injured him. What did you take away from that fight as you're preparing for, for him on Saturday? Nothing. Nothing. They're two different, you know, this is, has been a long time and could be an, an accident that happened in training or maybe in the fight, you know. His opponent is very tough as well. Like, I know him. And, yeah, the lesson that I take from the fight, that he can break like anybody else. And it's, it's to be, tell an abandoned away division, five guys, they're dangerous. You know, and I'm definitely going to be one of them. So, yeah. And, so. and you've, never, you've never been knocked out in the UFC in your career at all. Uh, how much will that help you in this fight just with your durability? Because he's used to having a short night. But with you, you know it's going to be a war, right? Oh, it's going to be a war 100%, you know. Every time that I step in the octagon, it's, I'm, I'm ready to give everything that I have, every, every single drip of sweat, and don't regret anything when I leave the octagon. So, and Saturday night is not going to be different. You know, I'm willing to take everything that I can uh, and push to the limits and take him to deep waters. And just last one for me, were there any, uh, you know, training partners that were kind of O'Malley's size? He's a pretty big fighter for the division. Did you work with anyone specifically for the, the size that you're going to be facing on Saturday? Yeah, definitely. We have some guys from, from Europe that kick boxers and some other guys in the gym, too, that, um, that has, like, the same style that he has a little bit with the, 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 the average. 
and the reach distance that he has. And yeah, American top team. One thing that we always gonna have many type of style and people there to train, to copy and, you know, and make sure they gonna bring the best in every single round that's gonna present.